Pleased now to be joined for the South China Morning Post by the number five ranked light heavyweight in the world for the UFC. Yuri, great to see you again, mate. Massive main event coming up for you against Dominic Reyes. It's hey. been a while. How's everything going? Everything's going fine. Everything's uh, by a plan. So great. I was very excited to see you sign for the UFC. You tore it up in Japan for Ryzen as the light heavyweight champion over there. And then I think you maybe won a, a lot of new fans with your debut performance over Volkan Özdemir. Mm. How do you look back now at your UFC debut? Uh, it was an interesting first round, but then you really found your stride and I think you made a big statement. How do you look back on it now, that debut? Yeah, that's the right word, the interesting first round. But uh, that first round was, uh, for me, that was horrible. That was horrible, and I need I was I, I needed to to destroy everything uh, what I uh, what I what I have like uh, bad habits from uh, from this fight from this first round, and I need to destroy that in in the training camp. And I built a new, uh, not a new uh, fighting style, but uh, I need to upgrade my, my old style. Are you quite pleased in terms of your confidence? I mean, you're a confident guy. You know how good you are coming in as a world champion. But just to get that first victory under your belt against a very dangerous guy like Volkan, does that give you that kind of calmness to know that you can put people away who are on that level yeah that's the that's the yeah that's right that's right because uh i was very uh, uh, uh how to say when i signed the ufc i was like uh before my first fight uh, I want to be, I wanted to be sure that I'm on the on the same uh, highest uh, world level to 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 challenge these guys. So after that fight, uh, that uh, make make this fight made made makes me um, uh, calm calm that from that I'm uh, I'm ready for this level and uh, I can beat. I can be uh, opponent for everybody, for every every of these men. Talk to me about Dominic Reyes. I think the first time I spoke to you, I remember you saying that you thought he beat John Jones, which is a hell of an accolade. Yeah. Uh, how big of a challenge is this for you? Is this the toughest test of your career? Ooh. I have many tough, uh, I have many tough uh, challenges in my career but uh, I, I take uh, every fight who's uh, who's uh, who's uh, right now I take like uh, the main fight of the life so for me the biggest challenge is now Dominic Reyes uh, yeah that's it What's the biggest danger from Dom, as far as you're concerned? He's a hell of an athlete, you know, he, he yeah. punches hard. Uh, what kind of a challenge do you see him as? Yeah, he had a very nice uh, uh, left hand, very nice left hand, uh, left direct and uh, right right hook and some uppercuts. Yeah, that's, the, that's his, I think, uh, the most... Uh, most dangerous uh, weapons but uh, i don't play this 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 game what uh, was the most dangerous or what i i take i'm taking this man like a, like a person like everything and uh, i see the weak points a lot of so so that's my strategy to 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 use these points to win for win. What do you see those weak points as? How do you see yourself beating uh, him? And do you see yourself finishing him? Yeah, that's my strategy. I don't want to tell 
tell tell it now what is my strategy and what is my uh, plan or what to do in the fight but uh, but uh, but <laughs> in the end uh, in the end I am taking that uh, I have some plan but in the fight there is uh, I need to have a free mind so I'm um, kick the plan to the side some somewhere and uh, I'm just doing what I uh, what I learn in the in the fight camp just especially for these guy you finished Ozumi, you finished Dolloway, you finished Maldonado, uh, yeah. King Mo, Halsey, Jake Hoon. You, uh, before, I mean, you have just finished everybody. The last time uh, you went the distance was against Tanios back in 2016. So do you go into a fight with that mentality that you expect to finish everybody? And is Reyes going to be any different? Are you expecting another finish here? This is not something special. I think that's my, that's just my style. And um, uh, I don't like to 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 finish the fight for the points because uh, that's not. Uh, I think I'm not. I'm not taking the. I'm not taking the these uh, uh, like, like fight for the points uh, for decisions. Uh, like uh, this is no. Uh, this is not the, end, the not the end of the fight. Yeah. Uh, one must must stand and one must be down. So, uh, so I like to be the stand last man stand, and and that's 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 my style. I'm I'm just going throw directly throw for the win. That's all. That's all. I think that's why you're so exciting. And I think that's why after just one fight in the UFC, there's a little bit of buzz about you. Do you feel the fans responding to you? Do you feel like you're getting new fans? And do you think the UFC appreciates you that maybe they have a guy on their hands who's got that something special, a start? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, not not yet. Uh, maybe in, in, our, in my rep, Czech Republic. But uh, I think the... the the United States fans uh, didn't don't uh, don't know me yet so much, but uh, I'm I'm appreciate it. I'm very glad for for every fan of 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 my style of me. I'm trying just to show uh, my best power on the highest level. So. Is that guaranteed for you, the shot at the winner of Jan and Glover? What would if you, you win? What if you if you win? Is it guaranteed that you'll face uh, you'll get the title shot if you beat Dom? I don't care. Uh, not I don't care, but uh, I'm not. Uh, uh, I'm not think. I'm, I'm not thinking about about this uh, question right now. So after that. After that, I, we can talk about that because because uh, now I'm 100% I'm more <laughs> uh, focused for for this fight with Dominic and uh, and uh, that's that's everything now. I think a lot of fans are really excited to see you in the light heavyweight division because you could argue that the division needs a little bit of new blood. Uh, yeah. You know, with John Jones particularly departing, the biggest star in the division, going up to heavyweight. It's a lot of older guys you could suggest. So, uh, are you excited about that to kind of give this division some some freshness and kind of shake things up a bit? Yeah, yeah, but not not just the freshness. I'm 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 glad to to show uh, my style because I'm trying to be. Uh, uh, I'm trying to show uh, the beauty of the of the mar martial arts, yeah, and uh, uh, the beauty of the using the mind in the fighting, using the 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 body, yeah. And uh, that for me, it's not it's not nothing. It's, this is not for me like uh, like some fight 
for me is not personal. This is not personal for me. This is for me art. I'm building some. Uh, I'm building some artist artist uh, thing. Uh, I like to take it like that. So. So yeah, I'm glad to to. I'm now in the UFC and to show that uh, and uh, all the world can can watch it. Forgive me if I'm being ignorant, but that looks like a, a warrior's hairstyle. Is there is there a history or, or a story behind that? What war hair? You mean my, my a hair? War, like a, yeah, it looks like a warrior's hairstyle. Yeah, uh, that's my that's my uh, <laughs> that's my war hair. Before before my before my uh, before the UFC, not every fight, but I had uh, many times uh, uh, I. I made on my head uh, war war hair, uh, so I'm uh, I'm try I, I tried to to do that now, and I think it's it's uh, it's great. So so the, for for me I'm I just want I don't want to just uh, uh, thinking like a like a warrior, not to be a warrior just. I wanna look like a warrior and uh, do these crazy things, and yeah, that makes makes uh, my way uh, in the UFC and in this fighting life uh, more more uh, uh, more happy. <laughs> or uh, yeah, something like that. I remember the hairstyle from Ryzen. Is there like a cultural reason behind it, like from uh, samurai culture or something from Czech, or, or what? What inspired it? No, no, I I inspired that uh, from some Shaolin monks, and and in me in the last year, I uh, I watched a lot of uh, these uh, Shaolin crazy things, and and. Uh, and I start, uh, I, I start naturally. I, I start naturally in the fighting. The another moves, another uh, another mind, uh, another another thinking in the fights, another control of the emotion in the fight. And uh, uh, that's uh, that's uh, uh, that's uh, make me motivated. And uh, this is this is why I had this this. Uh, these war hair, yeah. As a competitor and as a warrior, as a martial artist, I remember when you first came to the UFC, we spoke a little bit about John Jones and you were quite interested to face him one day. Are you a bit disappointed as a competitor? He's the greatest ever that he's left the division. Uh, yeah, is that frustrating in a way that you maybe not gonna get to meet him now? No, still, still not. I'm, uh... I'm still, <laughs> I'm taking the things like like it is. So, so if he's in the heavyweight, I don't care. I don't care. That's that's his way. I'm taking his uh, and his way and lifestyle like one of the best uh, of fighters. But uh, he had many, many, uh, like like how how to say these uh these bush is what he did but but i don't care about that no it doesn't matter i'm taking i'm taking him like uh like one of the best of the fighters but he's a heavyweight i don't i don't think about him right now I know, I know you've got a lot to think about. You've got a lot on your plate with Dom, but uh, how impressed are you with Jan? You've got to be thinking about the champion because you come into this as the world champion in, in Ryzen. It seems destined, you know, two guys from Eastern Europe. It's going to be a hell of a fight. Uh, of course, he has to get through Glover first, but that must excite you, the prospect of fighting Jan. I think the matchup is there to be something special. What do you think of it as a, as a matchup? Who? With Jan Blachowicz. With Jan Blachowicz. Uh... Really, I don't think about this fight yet, but he's, uh, he's my neighbor, yeah? Uh, he's, uh, uh, he's my, 
he is living next next to my country in Poland. So I'm not thinking about him like uh, like uh, like about the, the opponent. He's he I think he he moved after after this fight after this last fight. After this last fight, uh, he he will move uh, to to heavyweight, like he said. So that's my <laughs> that's my think about him. There's one guy who I want to ask you about as well because uh, Israel Adesanya, you know, he fought at light heavyweight. Is uh, he's a hell of a martial artist? Yeah. Does he is he somebody that you respect? Uh, that could be on your radar for the future if he comes back to your weight club. Maybe yeah, but uh, I very I very liked him. I very liked him. Uh, not not like personally. I don't know him, but his style in the fighting is uh, yeah very special, very unique, and uh, that's uh, uh, that's that's what I want to do. Uh, that's that's the level uh, and the much better what I want to be yeah because he, he versus the Jan Blahovic he showed that that uh, very nice control of movement and uh, it was inc incredible very very nice very nice um, I wonder I mean I wore this today because the fans in South yeah. in, in Asia, uh, we loved what you did in Ryzen, and it seems like a place that's close to your heart. You're a warrior, you're a martial artist. Yeah, sure, yeah. When the pandemic's kind of better, would you like show an interest for the UFC to fight out back in Asia in Saitama with the UFC? Do you think that's a possibility? Yeah, sure. Why not? Be cool. Or would Prague be uh, top of your list? Okay. What cool. was you, you asking? What? Oh. what? If you could fight anywhere in the world, where's the top of your list? Is it Prague? Uh, to fight where? In the with the UFC, where where would you most like to fight? Does it doesn't matter, or, or would you love to fight back in Czech Republic? Who man, I don't I don't care where I, where I fight. Yeah, that's 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 my rule. That's my rule. I don't care about fight. I don't care about the, these all these things. Uh, I just want to show them my my best. That's all. Do you watch the fights? Do you watch the UFC? Uh, the fights happening right now. I don't want to keep you any longer, but th yes, are we you interested? Yes, interested in what's happening with the other fighters? Yes, we have TV. I, I, I saw some fights, but but uh, yeah, today's uh, today have a fight. Uh, the uh, who's that man? The, Masvidal Usman. Masvidal Usman, yeah, yeah, Masvidal Usman, and uh, yeah, I will watch it. Awesome, man. I don't want to keep you any longer. Thank you, Jerry. Really good to speak to you. All the best Thank against you. Reyes. Great to see you again, man. Respect. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate your time, bro. All the Victor best. Victory. And